It's just been announced that Eli Roth will executive produce a remake of his 2002 horror film Cabin Fever. What is unique about this remake is that it will actually use the exact same script that Roth used in 2002. Christian, buy or sell a Cabin Fever remake using the original script. I sell it. That's like, <laughs> what's the point? I don't understand. I just don't understand the point. It's like he wants to do it over again? And why, don't, why doesn't he just direct it and say, you know, hey, I just, I, I didn't like the way I originally did this, which I thought the original one was like a fun guilty pleasure, and it's actually a fun little horror film. I, I don't understand the need to do it, especially doing the same exact script. Continuations are one thing, and, and spinning it off and doing the direct-to-DVDs, all that stuff is fine, but to do the same exact script, I, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't get it either. I sell it, and I love horror film, and I think Eli Roth is really good in this genre, but I don't understand either. It's just like, if you, yeah, Twisted it up, sequel, reboot, whatever you're doing, but to use the same exact script, I mean, I guess it's really challenging as a director, writer to do that, but I still don't understand in 12 years, 14 years, I'm, unless it's like 20 territory, I don't really understand the need either. It's not like this reinvented the genre so much. It's like Halloween, you know, yeah. is done in different shades, and I can respect that because it's an amazing classic story, but no, I just don't want it. You know, oddly enough, I, I'm going to sell this too, and I'm, I'm the guy who, I'm all for remakes. I really am. I, I'm all, and there's a couple of interesting things about this. Number one, it will be very interesting, I think fascinating actually, to sit back and watch a movie based on the exact same script with two different directors and see how different of a film they mm -hmm. end up being. That's kind of fascinating. Um, the original film, you're right, it's a fun little it's fun. horror film. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And it's one of those films that might benefit from a new retelling on a larger scale. Maybe, I don't know. But no, I still sell. I mean, it's just, it's only like 13 years old. Doing it again on the same script will give us a new rendition. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't always work too. What was the movie that Michael Pitt did recently? It was a remake. Oh man, it was a horror film also. And it was uh, basically, he, the, he, they're pretending that there are other people and they infiltrate this family and Naomi watches and they just uh, terrorize. Funny Games. Funny Games. So yeah. Funny Games is a remake by the same director, same writer, shot for shot, the yeah. same movie. And it didn't do necessarily well over here and didn't really, I, I didn't understand why that, I enjoyed, I had never seen yeah, the other one too. Have, so maybe yeah. that's it, is maybe reintroducing it again and getting the word out again. But I, uh. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.